Hello, good day, good day, good day. Come on in, good day, good day. Um, I just wanted to say hello. I haven't been on here in a couple of weeks, and many of you, some many of you may know, and some of you may not know, that my mom died um, about two or three weeks ago, and um, you know it's been tough and all of that. So those that do know, I just want to say thank you for your prayers and your support and your message, message, messages is so greatly appreciated. And in everything, I always try to find a lesson in it all. And one of the biggest lessons, particularly that I found, is how do you move forward as an entrepreneur? How do you go on as a leader in time of grief? How do you do that? What do you do? And one of the things that I learned was that was first and foremost, that was so important, is around self-care is so important. Self-care is so important. There may be some of you that are on here that said, you know what, this is this is good. So what I want you to do is tag somebody and share this video with someone um, because there were some great things that I learned and I'm still learning during this time of grief. So the question is, how do you move forward as an entrepreneur, a leader uh, in time of grief? The first thing that I learned, or I am learning, the importance of self-care. And when I say self-care, I'm not talking about necessarily getting your nails done. I'm not talking about, you know, the beautification of ourselves, right? Which is fine. And I did find that that was important um, to really get up I, I put perfume on almost every day um, just to keep things um, as normal as possible so self-care is important and the other part about self-care is that self-care and being quiet and being still and being quiet thank you karen good to see you thank you so much i appreciate you and thank you for your prayers and everything i appreciate you and so as I was saying, the one thing that I, I found was about self-care, being still, being quiet. Because in it, being still and being quiet, also feeding myself with positive, inspirational, whatever feeds your spirit, whatever feeds you to make you better, whatever feeds you. So for me, I have affirmations, I have the Bible, I listen to uh, sermons, I listen to inspirational messages um, to keep me going. And so when I think about that, I also kind of taken on and taken on some of the things that my mom would say to me. One thing she would say is get her done, which means that whatever you started, you got to finish. So get her done. And I said to myself, how do I get her done when I don't feel like it? How do I get her done because I'm in, I'm grieving? Yeah, I am. However, the whole point is, is that I have to take care of myself. You cannot pour from an empty cup. You know this, Karen, nor can you pour from a dirty one. And so self-care is so important. So that self-care not only involving that quiet time, feeding yourself with inspirational things, that positive things. The third thing is I found with self-care is having a great team around you. And when I say self-care, having a great team around you, meaning that we have to be around people that are positive, people that will build you up, people that will support you, people that will keep you on track. You have to have a good team. So here's my team. My first team, number one on my team, I'm not even gonna include my family. But outside of my family, the first one on my team, that's a good team you have. You have, um, you have to take care of yourself physically. So physician, I have a doctor, I have a therapist. I have a team of good girlfriends that will just surround me and just be there. And I also have a trainer <laughs> so that I can continue to release some things physically and to keep me moving and to keep me going. So a part of self-care is having a good team. So we talked about self-care being important. Self-care, not only having that quiet time, having that time to yourself, feeding that, feeding yourself with positive, whatever that looks like for you, you have to feed yourself with some good things. So I'll give you an example about feeding yourself, right? 
we all know I am a I love french fries I love all things potato and so that's no secret to anyone and um but what I found most some of you may know in December I lost my grandmother my grandmother died and what I found in December was I was feeding myself bad foods I felt sluggish I didn't feel like it I didn't work out I didn't do a lot of stuff because I Everything I ate had to have a potato chip for a try or whatever. And I did not feel well, if you will. And on top of it, I gained weight, right? And so it was beyond COVID weight. And what I had to realize was that it was all a part of me going through a place of being depressed, being anxious and all of that. And I had to recognize that. So you recognize that when you have a therapist or you recognize that when you have someone that can help you through that. The other thing um, that I realized too was that I had, so now I didn't know it was unexpected that my mom died. But what I learned from that is a part of self-care is feeding yourself good foods and feeding yourself things that's going to nourish you, feeding yourself things, food that's going to um, give you uh, energy so that you can move forward which goes hand in hand with having a trainer or maybe an accountability partner that you can go on walks or whatever the case may be. And the other thing is, is that even as a business owner, what I also found was important for me was a part of that self-care is also to have your coach. I had a, my, uh, my coach to kind of keep me on track, but at the same time, kind of surrounded me with that love and support that I need. So, all of this around how do you move forward as an entrepreneur, as a leader, when you're grieving, the one thing that I learned is self-care is super duper duper important. It's so important. You got to take care of yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't help nobody else. As my good, good friend would say, my former coach would say, you can't pour from an empty cup, nor can you pour from a dirty one. So we all have to take care of ourselves. There are two more um, <laughs> I want to share with you, but I'm going to save that for next time. So I just wanted to check in with you all because I haven't been on um, just to let you know why. But I also wanted to share with you the lessons that I've learned and how I, how to move forward. And I, as I continue to move forward, so continue to share and pour those uh, positive vibes, energy, love and light prayers and all of that. It's so needed. God bless all of you. I love you and take care.